Hello, my name is Joaquin Madrid. I, I am a senior consultant with SSP Innovations, and I'm going to tell you about the partnership between OSI Soft and ESRI to integrate your real time data on your online maps. SSP is very excited about to collaborate in this uh, partnership because it follows the pattern of the company, the simple pattern of collect your data, expose it, and empower your users. If we are familiarized with this pattern, what we do in RGIS is we collect data for, to create our assets. And in Pi, we can also collect not only assets, but also real-time and historical information. One is collected and exposed to an online service like RGIS Online, then our users, whether they are the whole organization, different departments, customers, even regulatory agencies will have access to it and your data will be available for a wider public. So if you are familiarized with ESRI's RGIS online efforts in the last few years, and maybe even your utility has already implemented online mapping, you know that the model of collect, expose, and empower is being performed and implemented in the way of creating feature services and feature layers, exposing them through a REST point, publishing them to the online cloud, and then consuming them through either mobile devices or any other kind of mechanism for online contents. But be aware that this um, exposure of data is completely static. What I mean with static is that if you need to make changes to the map that is going to be served, then you will have to recollect data, make the changes, republish, and then um, make them available to your users. ESRI is aware of the need to update information without having to republish your services. So they created the GeoEvent extension, which actually consists of GeoEvent services triggered by some mechanisms absorbing data through an input with formatting of some uh, kind and actually many ways of formatting your input data, your output data, and the output is pushed directly into the maps that are being serviced online. Leveraging in the capabilities of the GeoEvent uh, extension, OSI Soft has developed the Pi Integrator. This component sits in the middle of the big picture because it allows real-time information to be mapped into the online services directly without having to republish. And how is that done? There are two components in the Pi integrator. The main one is the application service, which allows you to reuse all the work that you did to publish your maps by exposing the rest points it reduces those REST points and creates a database of assets within Pi. That database, of course, is going to have X and Y coordinates. And with that asset database, then the application service is able to publish feature services and feature ledgers corresponding to the assets very similar to the way you did it directly with RGIS Online Publishing. But furthermore, the data relay is a component that is periodically polling data from the real-time database, from the historical database, 
associating that data to the corresponding assets, and then manipulating it through triggers and events in a way that it fits, in this case, through HTTPS, the mechanism to make the geo event service populate the data real time on your maps. So with this architecture, what we have is that the collect, expose, empower pattern is being developed in a way that is enriches your maps with real time information and provides you with richness in the data that you may not have had before. We can see many applications such as monitoring meters real time in your network. Also trying to figure out where your crews are in time of performing some task and how they are moving or when they are approaching a particular area that may be deemed uh, dangerous. Other analysis like historical evolution of your network during storms and whatever is um, possible with real-time data. So I hope that this presentation has uh, clarified the insights of the uh, Pi integrator and gives you uh, some ideas of how you can empower your end user to provide them with real-time data combined with your geographic assets to have dynamically um, rich uh, maps online. I feel like a inmate. <laughs> Hello, my name is Indigo Montoya. You killed my father, prepare to die. <laughs> my name is Joaquin Madrid. This is OSI Soft ESRI integration. And don't say ESRI or you'll be hung. <laughs> Testing one, two, three. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> So with that, that's all I had to say for this thing now. Yeah, oh, sorry. I forgot that that's all I had to say. Okay. So.